All right, everybody. Um, this is Armin Mojara with Imagination Everywhere in the Ria Institute, and I just wanted to welcome you back to a new series that we're doing um, called jQuery UI, and uh, we're going to combine this with also learning um, about Visual Studio 2010. Now, you all may have seen in, uh, a couple of months ago that I started doing a, vid a, visu uh, a video uh, tutorial series on Visual Studio 2010. I stopped because that was the beta. As of yesterday, February uh, 10th, the release candidate for Visual Studio 2010 is out. And so um, I'm going to combine learning that I IDE and the features that it has with uh, uh, the jQuery UI uh, series um, and that's because a lot of the things that Visual Studio um, that we're going to be learning about Visual Studio um, uh, is, is going to be in line with the rich um, internet application development that, that we're going to be taking on with jQuery UI so um, let's dive into it the first thing that you want to do um, is you definitely want to go ahead and go to the visualstudio.net or visualstudio.com or microsoft.com visual studio uh, website and uh, the website is here above um, you go to microsoft.com uh, visual studio uh, slash visual studio and then what you want to do is you want to click on the downloads part and then come down here and uh, let me zoom out um, and you want to download the I'm using the ultimate uh, edition of uh, Visual Studio the release candidate you want to go ahead and uh, um, download that version and it's a pretty hefty file when you when you go and you and you and you click on the download um, it gives you the option of, of downloading it and saving it on uh, on a DVD or you can uh, and you have to save it in three separate parts if you did download it on a, a DVD or what you can do is you can download the entire package by clicking on this link right here and it took me about 30 minutes to download because it's 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 a huge file to download but you know at the same time it's uh, easier if you do it the disk way um, you can use something like daemon tools or whatever uh, to burn it on an, as an ISL file and do a virtual uh, disk um, I'm not going to get into that you can just look at daemon tools type that into Google um, after you've downloaded Visual Studio what you want to do is go ahead and open it up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the web development settings I'm not going to do code only um, yet but I'm just going to do the general web development settings and just go ahead and start Visual Studio and as you can see Visual Studio is setting up the environment settings and while it's doing that one thing I want to point out is that after you've downloaded it, make sure that, um, and I wanted to highlight this, make sure when you're loading it that it's loading all of these components here. Um, I, um, just make sure it's loading all these components, uh, the .NET framework, uh, multi-targeting, uh, ASP.NET, the Silverlight uh, 3 SDK. Um, just make sure it's downloading all those components. Uh, because if if you don't, then uh, you you're not going to be do able to do some of the things that we need to have done. So, okay, uh, it's loaded, and as you can see, um, it uh, imported my environmental settings from Visual Studio 2008. So the start page. Um, doesn't automatically come up but the IDE is the same and we're going to get more into that I, I wanted to spend this video showing you the tools that we need because there's some very nice tools that we're going to be using um, the other tool new tool that we're going to introduce to this series is called Glimmer and since we're doing um, uh, uh, jQuery development 
I wanted to show you Glamour because Glamour is a what you see what you get um, interface that allows you to uh, do jQuery effects um, uh, without having to write code um, and an example is if we go and we do an image uh, sequencer what we can do is uh, I can go ahead and browse for an image I already have one set up uh, this right here now I'm gonna do this one right here and do another image oh no 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 well I guess we can do this and what it can do is we view it in the browser is sequence if I go back to the as you can see it's sequencing so I mean those are some of the things that we're going to be able to do uh, with uh, Glimmer it basically allows you to do all the jQuery effects without having to write quote code and this is a nice little um, tool that we're going to be using um, you can get this uh, from uh, the, the mix labs uh, that Microsoft provides uh, uh, visit uh, mix.com slash backslash lab and uh, that allows you to go ahead and download Glimmer, the Glimmer application, and they got some other interesting applications here. I also wanted to let you know that you will, will be also going to the uh, Microsoft Ajax libraries because um, uh, we're going to be using some of their uh, uh, framework uh, as far as Ajax is concerned, um, and also the ASP.NET Ajax, which has the uh, Microsoft uh, Control Toolkit because um, jQuery works well with uh, Microsoft Control so that's why I'm mentioning uh, Microsoft right now the other thing uh, that we want to that I want to highlight is uh, uh, you can um, for the jQuery UI um, you can get the code uh, for, from um, from their uh, subversion uh, repository here, here, is it, here it is um, if you click on it um, and we'll be using uh, version 1.72 uh, so these are all the things that we're basically going to be focusing on a theme and a theme has uh, a bunch of stuff that we can do and we're going to be getting into that so uh, definitely go to jQuery.com and uh, what you want to do is you want to go to uh, click on the page where it says uh, documentation or download in jQuery and go to the bottom of the page and click on the subversion uh, uh, link and uh, and of course we're going to be using Google's uh, Ajax uh, library also so these are some of the things that I just wanted to go over in this introduction uh, video and those of you who are impatient um, you know this is an introduction video um, if you've looked at my other video series you know that I and very simple um, and to the point but I'm also very um, patient with explaining things so um, don't be impatient you can't be impatient if you're a coder so um, just wanted to let you know this is the introduction and we got many things to uh, get involved with and to do with this series so thank you and uh, we'll see you in the future